This one handshake holds the promise of bringing back equations between the two nations back on track. Ever since Mohammad Moizu, known for his pro-China views, won the presidential polls in Maldives last September, ties between India and the archipelago nation has been on the decline. Ties took a further dive in January when Maldivian ministers mocked Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to Lakshwadeep while he was promoting it as a tourist destination. What followed was spontaneous worldwide combustion and a boycott Maldives campaign. The impact was instant with the number of Indian tourists in Maldives plunging 43% in the first 6 months of 2024. India was the largest tourist block in Maldives last year. This year it slipped to the 6th position with tourists sampling Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam and Georgia instead. Maldivian president is now hoping his visit to India will reboot tourism ties. We look forward to concluding the free trade agreement with India which will enable us to harness the full economic potential between our countries and to increase indian investments in both our tourism and various sectors of development our people to people connections have long been the foundation of the relationship between india and maldives many maldivians travel to india for tourism for medical purposes for education and for many other needs at the same time the maldives hosts a large number of indians who contribute to the development of the Maldives. India is one of our largest tourism source markets and we hope to welcome more Indian tourists to the Maldives. The travel industry is already pulling up its socks for increased traffic to Maldives. There already was a small uptick in Indian tourists visiting the islands the past couple of months and tour operators are now confident that Maldives will be a top destination again. We have to understand that Maldives and India have had a very deep connection in the past and the entire hospitality industry in Maldives has a lot of Indian employees, a lot of Indian talent, a lot of Indian staff running there. A lot of Indian brands also operate out of Maldives. So there was always a deep connect. So things had started coming back though it were not uh, though it was not as strong as what it was pre the issue but i think now post this visit i see normalcy coming back to a large extent nearly 80% of the island's gdp and 60% of its forex is generated from tourism tour operators say resorts and hotels in maldives are already doing their bit for the rush of indians by rolling out attractive discounts and offers as well as customized packages which suit desi tourists